year's hottest trending academic hashtags was hashtag fieldwork fail. It was a great way for researchers to work through deeply traumatic experiences with a caring and supportive community. <laughs> deeply traumatic experiences like accidentally gluing your hand to a shark, <laughs> or getting cheetah poo blown in your face on a windy day. A caring and supportive community that definitely did not laugh at your misfortune and share your story with as many people as possible to make them laugh too. My own fieldwork fail was too catastrophic for 140 characters, but eight minutes of stand-up comedy should do. <laughs> I study wild bonobos in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC for those of you who like a good abbreviation. <laughs> bonobos are closely related to chimpanzees, but with some interesting social and uh, sexual differences. <laughs> I will leave you to explore that on your own. You can go home, not at work, it's not safe for work, but you can go home and Google bonobo genitogenital rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag junk off. <laughs> so when I tell people about my fieldwork in DRC, their first question is often, aren't you scared? Well, I did finish my PhD with only one first author publication, so I was quite scared about applying for postdocs. <laughs> <laughs> or do you mean am I scared that other researchers won't take my observations as seriously as experiments because I can't control the conditions of my subjects? <laughs> no, aren't you scared of working in DRC? Isn't it dangerous? Oh, <laughs> now I know what they're talking about. I think that violent Hollywood movies have given a misguided impression and generally poor image of robots. <laughs> but I can assure you that the traffic control robots in DRC's capital, Kinshasa, designed by Therese Zay's group, Women Technology, are perfectly safe. Not only do they improve safety at busy intersections, they are programmed to follow Asimov's three laws of robotics. <laughs> That normally puts everyone's minds at ease. <laughs> Except now I have discovered something dangerous lurking in the forests of northern DRC. A formidable opponent, skilled in camouflage, and able to strike at a moment's notice. Trees. <laughs> Arboreal killers. <laughs> like UKIP would have you believe that it's the foreign trees that cause all the trouble. <laughs> Don't be too sure. One tree consultant website warns that 55 people are hospitalized annually um, in tree-related injuries. And that doesn't even include the religious extremist trees. <laughs> Christmas trees send about a thousand people to A&E every year. We can't even feel safe in our own homes. <laughs> Bonobos incur surprisingly few tree-related injuries, considering the amount of time they spend climbing about in them. <laughs> I've seen a 10-month-old infant drop 20 meters straight to the ground. If she'd been a bonobo, she would have survived. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag best carcass. <laughs> hard way about the danger of trees. Uh, it was a wet morning uh, after two days of rain and we were following the bonobos. We'd lost them in the swamp forest for almost an hour. Field work is a really glamorous job. <laughs> so we've been trekking through the forest in the swamp, picture the horse in the never-ending story, um, and one of the field assistants points up, is it a bird? Is it a plane? <laughs> We were so busy looking at the group of bonobos up ahead that none had noticed the one right above us. I wondered why the branch was getting bigger. And then it hit me. <laughs> In the eye. Now, the ever-sympathetic primatologist's first question is, did he throw it at you? 
Was it a weapon? Have you discovered weapon use in the supposedly peace-loving, sex-obsessed, raw vegan, never heard of fly bonobo, a species who in the wild, their toolkit extends to nothing more than folding a leafy branch into an umbrella? And this was clearly my first question too. <laughs> then I collapsed on the ground, wailing. <laughs> the bonobos vocalized back at me and climbed down a bit closer. <laughs> Bonobo vocalizations are a really high-pitched whistling screaming sound, much like my own was. <laughs> so I like to think that they were thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> These weird, upright animals with baggy, multicolored skin have been following us for the last 40 years, and this is the first time one of them bothers to say hello. <laughs> and no, it wasn't weaponry. The branch was just dead, and when the bonobo above moved, it fell, accidentally hit me in the eye. Uh, so no groundbreaking discovery there. What a waste of a serious injury. <laughs> I'll skip the next three hours, mostly because I don't remember them. <laughs> I ended up with a beautiful black eye. It made me look a bit like Sylvester Stallone when there was still enough real flesh left on his face for it to bruise. <laughs> Over the next few days, it was decided that I should evacuate from one of the most isolated field stations in the world. No problem, dude. Made my way to the airstrip on the back of a motorbike for three and a half hours. The airstrip is essentially a long field, and we have to chase the goats away before the plane can come and land. But that's not the way the plane's usually coming from. It touched down on the airstrip and rolled deep into the sand at the other end. You cannot make this shit up. It took over 30 people, almost two hours, to dig out, turn around, and get the plane ready for takeoff. <laughs> I was then flown to Kisangani and transferred to Nairobi uh, via an air ambulance with paramedics who were more used to treating gunshot wounds in Mogadishu, and were quite happy to have a fully conscious patient who was up for a bit of a chat about treating gunshot wounds in Mogadishu. <laughs> So now I'm partially blind in my right eye. I'm not sure what you guys over here have been doing this whole time, uh, but I'll assume that you laughed in all the right places. Maybe I shouldn't have looked. <laughs> if anyone in the audience is thinking about doing field work, it's awesome. Do it. Don't let this one incident or all of the others on field work fail <laughs> put you off. Uh, I'm not going to stop doing fieldwork because I love it so much, and where else am I going to get more Bright Club material? <laughs> <laughs> so to sum it all up in 140 characters, no mom, fieldwork in DRC isn't any more dangerous than a walk in the woods. <laughs> Just don't look up. Hashtag fieldwork fail. 